Let's say you and your friend are walking in a local park and you stumble upon a hopping creature. Your friend says it's a frog, but you think it's a toad. What if I said you were both right? Today I'll be teaching you how to understand and apply taxonomic ranking. Taxonomy is a branch of science that studies the classification of organisms. Carl Linnaeus developed the classification system we use today called taxonomic hierarchy. This includes eight taxonomic ranks, usually depicted as a pyramid. The base demonstrates the broadest classification or the highest taxonomic ranking, whereas the point is the most precise classification. Beginning at the base, we have domain. There are three domains, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. Which domain an organism is a part of is mainly determined by what cells the entity has. Humans and our hopping creature both belong to the eukarya domain. The second most broad rank is kingdom. There are six kingdoms. Animalia, plantae, fungi, protista, eobacteria, and archaea bacteria. These six kingdoms separate organisms more than the three domains. Humans and our hopping friend both belong to Animalia. Next comes the phylum. Humans and our hopping friend both belong to the chordata phylum because we have notochords. Then comes the fourth rank, class. Here we biologically separate humans from our hopping friend. As you can see from the naked eye, I do not look like my hopping friend. Humans are class Mammalia, also known as mammal, and our friend is class Amphibia, also known as amphibian. Now the categorizing becomes very specific. The fifth rank is order. In the class rank, humans are bunched with dolphins, but order separates humans as primates and dolphins as artiodactyla. Now the order of our hopping friend will help us determine whether they are a frog or a toad. There are three orders of amphibians. Anura, which contains frogs and toads. Apida, which are Sicilians. And Iridila, which are salamanders. Anura means without a tail, so our hopping friend is a part of the Anura order and a frog. Frog is a general term for a tailless Anura amphibian. This meaning all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. So, our hopping friend is a frog with a lower classification of a toad, but what species are they? Thankfully, we have three more ranks to tell us. Next comes family. True toads are a member of the Bufandi family. This is the only family that consists of only toads, and our toad friend happens to be a part of the 580 species that belong to it. The second most precise ranking that brings us down just to a handful of species is the genus. Our toad friend is a part of the Anaxorus genus. These toads are categorized by biological features and can all be found in Central and North America. The final and most precise ranking is the species. Here, a name is given to a single organism. Carl Linnaeus created a system of binomial nomenclature. This means a species scientific name contains two words. First is the genus the species is a part of, and the second term is a word created specifically for that organism. Using this system, our toad friend is an Anaxorus cognatus. Cognatus is the specific word given to the species Great Plains toads. Now not only do you know the difference between frogs and toads, but you can impress your friends by knowing how all species are categorized, including you. 